Hey guys, it's Jay Pace. Just hanging out at home. Got me some cookies. Got me some packages here. You know, I'm a fan of YouTube and I've been watching these silly hauls and I also enjoy those unboxing videos. So I thought, why not do one myself? I needed some new stuff. So here, um, I decided to try out that uh, Wish app and this has been a very interesting adventure. I will caress this package as I discuss my adventures with Wish with you guys. So um, I guess the first thing is to say that uh, I think I ordered about 12 things and I have four, four packages. Uh, I ordered my stuff back in November. We're in January. Um, I will say I got most of my stuff in December, so it did take them about two weeks or so to uh, get me my items. Um, and then I will also say that I don't think it's 100% Wish's fault that I didn't get all of my packages because I, just in general my building, for some reason, I have issues with them giving me packages. So yeah, about 8 out of my 12 packages uh, if I look at the tracking, it says that they got sent here, but then they got sent back. And that's where it's like, I wasn't notified that my packages arrived or that they were going to be sent back. That's just what happened. And I happened to, you know, I was waiting and waiting. And then I was like, oh, let's check the tracking and packages sent back. So yeah, I have gotten refunded by Wish, which was, uh, they just refunded the shipping, which was in all $5. Uh, I think I spent probably, I mean, in total for all 12 items, I spent about $120. I'd say I got two of the more expensive items. I, like, I know what this is, um, and I have a big box here. Ugh this guy. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Um, and then we have a little guy and I can tell just from touching it I know what this is. This one I'm curious because I'm not sure. I'm not sure. From just touching it I'm not sure what this one is. I feel like I know what it is but I'm not sure. So we're gonna have fun opening these random wish packages that I got. Um, like I said, I know what this guy is. I know what the big box is. This one I know right away. So I guess maybe we'll open this one first because I already know what this is. So. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. And I will say, yeah, this is exactly what I thought it was. So I ordered one of those little orbs. I don't know if you're a Labyrinth fan. I was. I'm 30, so that was a childhood favorite. But yeah, so I bought one of these orbs because I thought it would be fun to photograph with. I will say that I thought it would be a little bit bigger. It does fit in the hand well, but I did think I was going to get one that was, I don't know, just, just a teeny, just a teeny bit bigger than this guy, actual like hand size. But he will be fun to play with, I think, for shooting. Um, so that's that. Um debating, debating, like, I kind of want to open it, no, 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 I really want to know about this guy. Okay, so the main thing, if you're one of my patrons, that you know that I have been wanting and needing a new one, is a tripod. So I decided to try and buy a tripod off Wish. So let's see what kind of tripod you get off Wish. Um, I think if I recall, it was $25, and I will say I was looking at one on Amazon for about $40 or $50, um, and this was one of the packages that just came right away, and I mean already from like, I don't know, this wrap, like they wrapped this really nicely, it looks like a nice box, I feel like I got an actually good product here. I've watched a lot of Wish videos and I've seen how a lot of the products are really bad. Let's see. Zomi Professional Tripod. Not a brand I've ever heard of, but 
I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. So we got a tripod, tripod bag. This is cute, it's a good little size. Let's check out the actual tripod. Oh, oh, guys, I'm kind of happy. Again, wish. This is actually a moment where I, I'm quite kind of satisfied with what I've got. I love blue. I'm pretty sure I got to pick the color, so I think I picked this color. Um, yeah, but so far this looks like a pretty legit tripod. Um, it doesn't have a leveler on it, which is something that most tripods usually have. So that's kind of bummy. Um, See, this part should come out. Yeah, so I can put this on the camera. That part comes off nice and easy. Is it easy to get back in? <laughs> yep, okay, there we go. You know what I mean? Everything's nice and tight because it's brand new. Rotation. I will say I'll have to figure and act or you know figure it out. I'll do more of a close up on the tripod, but there is a way for me to take out the middle piece so that it's just one of those pole tripods, which I've never had before. Um, so that's kind of nice. So it's a, a regular tripod or a I think they're like a solo tripod, um, mono tripod, something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm currently I'm quite satisfied with what I've got. So we're gonna put you back. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, quite satisfied with that one, guys. And it's blue, which is just my freaking favorite color. So I'm I'm happy. Okay, where do you tuck? Back into the little tripod bag. Okay. All right. I will open the mystery. Let's see if you're what I think you are. Okay, so I ordered what I thought would be like a little pop-up product studio. So I wonder if that's what this is. I'm, oh yeah, that's what it is. Okay, I actually thought this was one of the items I didn't receive because I didn't know what it was. But that's what this looks like, what this is. Hey, I have cats, stop that. And I have a chair, and I want to claw my chair. I have no claw my chair. Yeah, so this guy is supposed to be like your, a little pop-up um, studio for you to shoot products. And it comes with little colors. So let's check this guy out. All right, all right. Interesting. Okay, so this is the little like pop-up studio. Let's see, you get you the little cube. You get different colors. I think this guy was like they had a couple different ones. Um, some didn't have all of these backdrops. Some only had a couple, um, and they range from like eight dollars to about um, twenty-four, I think. So let's see. Oh yeah. Oh, and see, and then there's a USB. And so, yeah, so it's got lights right here. So I should be able to charge it um, and be able to light this space for a product. Like, I don't know, here, I'll take this lighter that I have. So like in here. So if you want to take a picture of this lighter and just have a nice clear space, I just thought it was something silly and fun. And I do like product photography because I like all photography. So I just thought it was something kind of fun to check out. Um, and I'm definitely gonna actually try it out, but this is just the unveiling moment of everything that I got from my little photo wish haul, as we're gonna call this. Um, okay. How do you fold up into yourself? Okay. We're gonna put that all together and put you back in your little bag, little bag. Oh, okay, there we go. Alright, actually you got 
you know, I mean, I only got four items, but at least the four I got are interesting. And now, the big guy, this guy, should be a ring light. So let me grab a pair of scissors. I'll be right back. back with the scissors all right big box pick her up ba, ba, ba. this should be a ring light um, I got I've always kind of wanted a ring light um, I shoot mainly with my I have studio lights um, but I figure if I'm gonna be doing YouTube stuff easiest thing for YouTube stuff is a ring light um, and then I just don't have to break out my giant studio lights for filming um, like right now we're using my fluorescent lights that are overhead so there's probably a little cast of color um, so here's my instructions just a sheet of paper student light stand installation okay there's a diagram on the other side whatever styrofoam all right we have a bag I have another box in here, and that's it. I assume this box is the stand. Yeah, the stand for the ring light. You know, and my phone is what I'm filming on right now, you guys, so um, I might not be fully in the shot put this here and in my tie which is why right now we're just doing the reveal and then I will film the whole thing my plan was to actually do like a photo shoot with all the new equipment Ooh, okay this was the most expensive thing I bought off wish this is a pretty good bag actually it's actually got padding and stuff on the inside so it's pretty good and this is the ring light and again this and the tripod pretty satisfied uh the ring light was around i think 47 so it was definitely the most expensive tripod was number two um but yeah this looks fucking legit and i'm excited ring light life guys i'm feeling like a real youtuber um ring light um so yeah so this is the ring light that i got off of wish um looks like it's got like an orange tint color uh it does have a thing so if i want to hook up my um phone right here so it's again it's like perfect for youtubing like i'm ready to become a real youtuber Sorry if I'm being super cheesy about that. Um, I'm just, you know, I'm doing this for fun. So if you guys like my content, that's cool. That's all that really, I'm just trying to have some fun. Another outlet. So yeah, so here's cord. We got this. I got this piece, which I'll probably put this guy in the bag for now because I don't want to lose it. Same with like these guys. But yeah, so that's everything that I got off Wish. Um... I'm totally gonna actually put it all together and make add more to this video and sh so you guys can see we gotta know if it actually works you know like it's arrived but let's see if if like this actually works when I plug it in and get it all together so stay tuned for that part all right Hey guys, playing with my ring light here that I got off of wish.com. Um, again, pretty pleased um, with it. It looks pretty legit. We're actually going to see if it turns on and works because, you know, random internet apps, websites, Chinese, overseas. Lots of questionable aspects that could make this not a good product as nice as it looks um because uh i've also been watching this show well i just started it yesterday really on netflix okay well, sorry where does this go 
on Netflix that is called Broke or Broken. Um, and it's about like counterfeit products or cheap products and how they are distributed and bad, etc. Um, so, you know, the fact that I already know that this product is from, oh, look at that, look at that, oh, distracted from China. Um, oh, yes. Hello. I wonder what the lighting looks like for you guys now that I've done this, but um, this is pretty fun. Um, more excited about this than I thought I would be. Um, I, also, these lights are really good. They are beauty lights, which is why you see a lot, a lot, a lot of the beauty guru people and YouTubers with them. Um, the circle lighting just really lights the face well, and um, the way that this light works and the fact that it's like you usually have it in front of you like this and you would put the camera here and shoot through it or above or around it. It creates catch lights in people's eyes. Um, which as um, one of my photography, ooh, okay, sorry. One of my photography teachers would say catch lights help you make uh, people look alive. Um, sometimes I find them distracting because um, it's like, why is there this white ring in somebody's eye? But um, yeah, so we have white. And then if we put this orange on, you can see it intense it a little bit. Um, and then let me find the knobby. So there's a, if I can dim it, it'll be really low, really bright. So um, pretty, pretty satisfied. It looks like I could also probably take off this white that's already on here. It looks like I could pop this guy off if I want. Um, and it is just LED lights underneath I'll show you guys so yeah so that's just what it looks like um, um, we can also do this bright not bright bright super bright not bright um, yeah but I'm pretty satisfied this is a very nice piece of equipment that I've wanted for a while and now I have one and like I said, I mainly thought that if I was going to be doing more YouTube, since all the other YouTubers have one and it is an easy light. Oh, see, now that I took that off, it's like I broke it. I didn't break it, but I can't get it perfectly back. Um, which for me, I'm OCD, so I'm going to be obsessed about trying to get this on here perfectly. Um, so I won't bore you guys with that and I will turn it off for a moment. <laughs> okay, guys. So now I've attached, um, I didn't record that part, but I attached this part, which is where the, um, if I take, I can take this part off, which this is to hold a phone, you guys, um, so for better viewing and lighting, um, but I can also put, if I take it off, I can just put my camera, um, here too, like I said, um, and then you usually would be shoot this direction which is where I'm going to place you guys in a moment is into into position let's try that out all right so I have you guys you are all set up on the ring light <laughs> sorry I blanked out on it um, if I go like this you can kind of see do 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 right there underneath my cat's bed you can see where the light is see my hand boop 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 um but yeah so the light's on if i turn it up really bright that's what we got turn it back down low turn it off and then i'll come stand here hey guys so you can see what it looks like with the person in front so yeah so we turn it on and then we get bright and then we get really bright and we get so bright i can't even see and then we turn it off so, yes, um, this was the most expensive item I got off of Wish. It was $47. Um, I'm quite pleased. It's actually pretty good quality. Um, like the stand isn't, is not, it doesn't feel cheap and nothing about it really feels cheap. Um, I'll have to look and see how much, because originally I was looking at 
one on Amazon for the ring light as well as the tripod, but I don't remember how much the ring light on Amazon was. So I'll have to see, we'll do a price comparison. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with this guy. Um, same with the tripod. I was looking at a tripod on Amazon and I know the one on Amazon I was looking at was like $45, $50. Um, and this tripod that I got right here, this baby. Um, I like and he was 25 so um, yeah next thing we're gonna do is play with this the studio set and we're gonna see if this lights up like the ring light does um, so that'll be the next thing stay tuned all right guys we're gonna be testing out a few things so we're gonna first turn on our ring light see how we like that mmm light and then I'm gonna get here you're not gonna see my face I think in this but it's okay because we are focused on this photo accessories um, okay so this guy is supposed to it has little snaps that you can like snap it together I don't really care right now about being like perfect because more so I just want to test out this light strip it has here see if that actually lights um, and then like I showed you guys earlier when we were unboxing it comes with different colors so that you can put different colors in there um, for different backdrops which is cool um, I don't know let's say for the the hell of it let's let's play with blue blue's my favorite color okay so it looks like it's got these little like clips up in here so we're gonna I don't know like clips, but they're little spots for you to like hang. It's like a mini studio, hang your backdrop. Um, so I'll show you guys so you can see just like little things. Look how cute and perfect that is. Now, whatever I shoot would be blue. Um, I'm not gonna be taking any pictures. Again, we're mainly trying to see if this light works. Uh, so there's that. It has this cord. Let's see. Looks like it's a USB. So maybe I'll be able to plug it in. This is for my iPod. Yeah, look, perfect. So plug that in. Plug that in. Okay, I might need to move this guy over just a teeny bit. Move you guys over just a little bit. Okay, let's see. Where do I plug you in? That is the. Do I plug you in there? That's what it looks like. Oh. Okay. All right. Let me move this table over. All right. So yes. So the light does work. You'd have a little studio here. I'll put this little. So we have something in here. So yeah, so this is like a mini studio for products. It won't stay. <laughs> but yeah, so you would put something in here. Uh, let me try and find something else. Um, I don't know. I don't want to put that. Oh, okay. I have this rock. I'm going to put a rock. Rocks are good for this. Now move. Um, so yeah, so you put a product here and then you'd be able to shoot it and it'll have a solid background and then also having this light, which I, I don't know, I guess it's kind of interesting. The lights on the front here, it'd almost be nicer if it was like, had a square light going around the rim of, or the top of the, the lid on the insides. That would be more direct and over here, um, this being here, I don't know. Here, let's take the blue out. As much as I like blue, white is really the best to see shadows. That would give me a better tell of this. So yeah, yeah, yeah. See, since the light's here, we do get a bit of a shadow over here. Versus if the light, I feel like, was all the way on the top, then we would get a good over um, the top lighting and then that shadow probably wouldn't be there um but that's just me being nitpicky because really for the most part yeah it's really evenly lit um and it works 
and it's kind of ridiculously cute. It was a random purchase. Um, I don't know when I'll actually use it because I don't do that much product photography, but I like product photography. Um, but yeah, if you're a product photographer, uh, this was, ranges like eight to $25 on Wish. Um, would love to know what some of you product photographers think about something like this. Would you use it? Um, maybe leave some comments down below your thoughts. Um, but yeah, so this would be my last item that I wanted to really kind of test out. Uh, like I said, the tripod does become a monopod, but um, I don't really feel like figuring that out right now. Um, but when I do, I will let you know. Uh, other than that, it's a tripod and it does all the things I need it to do as a tripod. I am a little sad that it doesn't have a level on it because I'm used to my tripods having a level on it, but it's blue. And it's metallic ice blue, which is my favorite. So, um, but yeah, this was my silly little wish video that I wanted to make. Um, again, I did order 12 things. I only got four. Uh, it took about a month and a half. I don't fully blame wish because packages just don't seem to come to my apartment. Um, what I did get really worked out and I'm happy with. So I would say I'm satisfied. Um, I just did this for fun and because I needed some new stuff and you know I thought you guys could get a little laughing kick out of it like I did um, if you enjoy random silly videos on you all right guys well staring into the ring light we see that it works and the tripod worked out and the little studio was super cute and I'm pretty satisfied with the glass marble that I got um, and you know, this turned out to be just the silly little video I wanted about photography gear and the app Wish, which I became interested in, um, via other YouTubers and their silly Wish haul videos. So this is something that I might try and do again. Um, we'll see, cause I know it's just kind of hard in general for packages to be delivered to my building, which sucks. So, um... That's what might be the only reason I wouldn't do it again is just because like I said I only got four out of 12 packages most of them got sent back and I wasn't even notified um, I went on my little rant about that earlier so um, we know how that happened uh, but other than that I'm quite satisfied with what I got um, you'll see the ring light definitely I'm excited to have a tripod again I haven't had one for like at least like six months so I can get back to self portraits. Um, that's the main thing I use a tripod for. The little studio was just a gag thing. I just wanted to try it out. It was cute. I do shoot products sometimes, but not as much as I would like. And um, the marble is something that I want to play with vo both as a prop for my um, models as well as something to maybe shoot through. Uh, and I also want to get a few more kind of optical things for shooting that will uh, mess with the glass or light reflection while I'm shooting because um, that's something I've gotten into but if you liked this video thank you very much hopefully you'll like the video maybe subscribe to my channel and maybe I'll make some more videos like this I want to make more art videos as well as I'm in the process of applying to move to uh, Japan and get a job over there so that is something I really want to um, make some videos about um, one you know some videos about like hometown Seattle life before I move as well as the transition of moving to another country and then of course Japan because one there are so many youtubers that YouTube about Japan and to me Japan is just a really interesting place and country to share with other people so and I am very interested and I'm excited for where 2020 is going, and I hope to share more of it with you guys. Have a good night. Thanks. Bye.